raccoon, right? Now, raccoon couldn't be more endearing. Uh, and that's how beautiful this artwork is. And that's the kind of artist um, <coughs> Jillian is. Uh, she is, she just exudes uh, creativity. Uh, she's a brilliant artist in so many different mediums. Um, so I'm just delighted that um, she's able to present today. She's also a great athlete. Uh, she is an amazing basketball player. She's really fast on the, on the track. Um, she's also a very kind student. And there is this, you know, when you look at Jillian, um, there is that almost a perpetual smile on her face. Uh, regardless of what's going on around her, you can look at her and feel a sense of calm. Uh, she is a wonderful friend. I know her friends consider her to be very loyal and supportive. And as a student, you know, one of the greatest skills that she's developed is being able to self-advocate and also willing to go back and try uh, to improve her outcome. And that's a great skill to have. So please join me in welcoming uh, Jillian Richards to stage and please give her our attention. Thank you, Mr. Raj, for the warm welcome. Hello, middle school, faculty, and parents. Today I'm here to talk to you about meditation. The definition of meditation is thinking deeply or focusing one's mind for a period of time in silence or with aid of chanting for religious or spiritual purposes or as a method of relaxation. Meditation has been shown to reduce stress, to improve focus, and to create right conditions for a healthy, restful sleep. Meditation can help train your mind for a healthier life. There are many different types of meditation to help you in certain areas, whether it be self-esteem, sleep, stress, and many more. I started meditation a long time ago with my mom. The reason I started was because I'm a very anxious and stressed out person and really couldn't find anything to help me cope with my anxiety. My mother was a big help throughout this whole ordeal and she would look for anything that was related to stress relievers or anxiety. She first found some incense and crystals. I would wear the crystals as a necklace. I liked them but they weren't that special to me and I didn't think they were helping me to calm down. She then got me some essential oils to help. I would place a dab of oil on my wrist and smell the aromatherapy to help me calm down. I do still use them to this day. Now here's a story about the first time I tried meditation. One night I was freaking out about schoolwork due the next day. I was working really hard and ended up going to bed really late. So of course in the morning when I woke up, I started to freak out about the work again. My mom was always up early, so I went down in the basement to see what I should do. I was in such a state of nerves, I didn't even remember what had happened. But what I do remember is that my mom had me lie down. She then lit a candle and played some calming music. She told me to stop thinking about it and just slow down my breathing. We had stayed like this for maybe 20 minutes or so. Using calming music and relaxing near a flickering candle really helped me calm down. But I was still a little jittery after I was done, but my mom helped me through the stress. If my mom did not do what she did that morning, I don't think I would have been able to go to school without having a breakdown on the way there or completely falling apart at school. Of course, I made it through the classes and got over what happened, because now I can't even remember what the assignments were about. During the meditation, it was quite easy for my mind to wander, not just to what work I had, but to other personal problems, too. Now, it's quite normal when you start to meditate, for your mind to jump all around the place. We might find it purposeful to think about everything we're thinking of and go from one thought to another, to be constantly moving about from future to present to past thoughts. In fact, it's rare to have such a still mind, but the mind can be taught to not do this not by forcing yourself to stop, but mindfully and effortlessly letting go. We don't want to trap ourselves into what would make us think more and create a stir in the meditation, but by training the mind and having awareness of when and where our attention has wandered off, we can slowly bring ourselves to a calm and collected state of mind. Our mind will gradually become a little less restless. You'll also get more comfortable with your mind sitting still. In fact, you might come to enjoy it. So now take a moment to imagine a bright blue sky off in the distance. The sky is a metaphor for your mind, a big open world in which thoughts, feelings, and expressions appear. Maybe there are a few clouds in the sky. They tend to not bother us or distract us too much. This is how the mind appears when it's calm, bright, serene, and happy. Our mind isn't always like this. Sometimes there's a lot of clouds in the sky. Sometimes they might be the dark and stormy gray clouds. Sometimes we might even wonder if a hurricane is on the way. 
It gets to a point where it's hard to think of anything else. We sometimes get so obsessed with the clouds that we forget about the blue sky altogether. But it's still there. Like every time you're in a plane and you fly through the clouds, there it is, blue sky. It's easy to forget about the blue sky and what you're looking for, but it's always going to be there. And that's why you need reminding of what you're thinking of. That's what meditation is for, to help your mind get at ease. You might think only people who are stressed out and have anxiety meditate, but that's not the case. Anyone can start meditation. If you thought it was only for hipsters or for people who are into spiritual activities, you're certainly wrong. A lot of famous people do it too. For example, Ellen DeGeneres. She says she meditates because it feels good, saying it's kind of like when you have to shut your computer down, just sometimes when it goes crazy. You just shut it down, and when you turn it on again, it's okay. That's what meditation is for her, a mental reboot. Katy Perry meditates. She says she starts a day with transcendental meditation. She says it puts her in the best mood. Transcendental meditation is a technique for detecting oneself from anxiety and promoting harmony and self-realization. A big meditator is Tom Brady. He owns a float pod and has a crystals, salt crystal relaxation room in his house. A float pod is a chamber providing light and sound for your environment. They're filled with 10 inches of water and approximately 900 pounds of dissolvable s salt. He uses the float pod as a way of lying down and going over his games. He'd be there for hours reviewing the games and what he can do better next time. Another are the Seattle Seahawks. I found a quote off of Zenful Spirits talking about the Seattle Seahawks and their meditation journey. When the Seattle Seahawks won the 2014 Super Bowl, head coach Pete Carroll informed the world that meditation was actually one of the tools that got them there. Carroll hired a sports physiologist to teach mindfulness and help his athletes learn more about meditation so they could be more in the zone and perform under high-stakes situations. With the Super Bowl win under their belt, it's safe to say the tactic worked. Looking at this, you can tell meditation is becoming more widespread. And since meditation has been more widespread, even schools are using meditation instead of detention. There are many different ways to calm the mind, like meditations apps like Headspace Calm and Meditation. Other things are crystals, incense as in aromatherapy, candles, drawings like mandalas, pet therapy, music, and singing bowls. These are great meditative resources. I've tried almost all these meditative resources and it's safe to say that it helped me a lot. I've been through some challenging situations and meditation has always been a method to calm myself down and take a deep breath. I hope after this chapel you might try meditation, even if it's your last resort to try and calm yourself down. I have one last thing before I end. Instead of song after my chapel, there's going to be a meditation session for you to listen to and enjoy. So thank you for listening to my chapel and have a nice day. So sitting comfortably, just beginning with a nice big deep breath. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. So eyes open, a soft focus. As you breathe out, you can allow the breath to return to its natural rhythm. So just keep the eyes open for a moment. Just focusing in on one particular object within your field of vision. Not staring at it too intently, still aware of the space around you. So just gently focusing on that one object. And then just slowly zooming back out again as you blink a few times with the eyes. 